And joining me now is Congresswoman Spear. Congresswoman, thanks for uh, coming up. Good to be with you. Let me start with what you're trying to do on the House side, and it's a similar question I had for Senator Klobuchar on Sunday involving the Senate's policy. Um, I'm hearing about more mandatory training, but the real issue here is how difficult and onerous the reporting process is. Tell me what steps you think you can take on your own, but, but are going to need a vote of the House to fix. We really need to reform the entire Office of Compliance uh, process. And I spent a lot of time in the hearing this morning talking about it. Right now, it takes almost 90 days to be able to file a complaint. And before actually going through the mediation, you have to sign a non-disclosure agreement. And then you are not represented by counsel, but the harasser is represented by the House of Representatives General Counsel. So I'm introducing a bill tomorrow <laughs> that is going to make it, one, apply to interns and fellows, which it does not apply to now. Right. There will not be mandatory mediation. There will not be mandatory uh, non-disclosure agreements. There will be a special victims counsel for the victim to be mm -hmm. represented by. Uh, all of those things, I think, will be uh, steps in the right direction to deal with what is an antiquated process and, frankly, unacceptable in this day and age. Look, this has been, I mean, it's, it's one of those, it's like finding out that there was gambling going on um, in Casablanca. The, the environment on Capitol Hill, um, particularly when I was younger in the 90s and the aughts, it was, it was sort of well known that that environment existed. And I, I only say that because you have said you know of two members of Congress. What do you believe is your responsibility in going public with that information? And why don't you believe it's your responsibility? Well, it, it was my responsibility to address the seriousness of this issue. Uh, these uh, survivors are subject to a non-disclosure agreement. I'm not going to violate their non-disclosure non agreement. And I, I think moving forward, we've got to take steps to make sure that there is transparency, that, in fact, the harasser is not going to have the settlement paid for out of the U.S. Treasury and have all the taxpayers paying for it. It should be something that is paid for uh, by the individual. So what you're saying now is, is that you know of two individuals who have paid out sexual harassment settlements, so taxpayer money has been used to protect the identity of these members of Congress? One member of Congress has um, been, has settled a claim and uh, there has been a taxpayer settlement. Is this something that, um, if the taxpayers involved, don't we have the right to know? Well, I think you do have the right to know, but right now, under the system, you don't have a right to know. Mm -hmm. Is this something you think you will retroactively deal with? I don't know that we can retroactively deal with it, because that's a contract that's been signed by both parties. Uh, I think moving forward, we absolutely yeah. must. Now, we, we've, we do know that there's a, about $15 million that has been paid out uh, by the uh, House on behalf of harassers in the last 10 to 15 years. $15 million has been paid out over sexual harassment claims, so obviously more than one member of Congress. Do you know how many over time that is? I know that some of them are former members now. I, I don't really know how many members it, that entails. Is this some information that's going to get disclosed now over time? I mean, again, considering this is taxpayer money, it feels as if it it should, I assume, if you put it to a vote of the House, this is... Is this something that you think should be retroactively done? Let me ask it, let me ask it that way. I think that we've got to you know, represent that moving forward this is going to be done. I don't, you can't, I think, tinker with pre-existing contracts that have been signed right. off by both parties. So um, I think moving forward it absolutely should be a component. We need to have it accountable uh, right. and transparent. Let me ask you this, and I know you weren't a member of Congress in the 90s. You, you, you came to Congress in 2008, but you were certainly involved in, in politics, and, and I think you worked on Capitol Hill. The Democratic response and, and the sort of victim shaming that took place during the allegations against Bill Clinton, in hindsight, how bad does that look? Well, it's, it's bad. I remember being a young mother of a six-year-old at the time and, and having to explain to him what blowjob was, and I was offended by it. So uh, the victim blaming absolutely was a thing of the past. I think that's why many victims don't come forward, because in the end they think that 
that they're going to pay the ultimate price. Uh, one of the survivors I spoke to said, you know, going through the process of filing a complaint was almost worse than the harassment. So this system has to be changed here. Uh, let me ask you a quick question. You're in the House Intel Committee, so I'm going to ask you one quick thing on WikiLeaks. Were you, did you know before reading in The Atlantic yesterday about uh, the exchanges between Donald Trump Jr. and WikiLeaks? Was that yes. something House Intel had been briefed on? Yes. Gotcha. And let me ask this. Is there a lot more we don't know in exchanges between the two of them, or do we, is that information you don't have yet? Well, that, some of that information we do have, but I'm not at liberty to, to share with you right now. And what would you say to those that are worried that Democrats are leaking too much of this information? Are you concerned that there's too many leaks? Well, I don't think we should be leaking at all. And every time I have a reporter uh, want me to confirm something, I always kind of shake my head and say, well, <laughs> how come they got the actual language? So uh, we all need to do a better job of just keeping our lips sealed. All right. Congresswoman Jackie Speer, uh, we'll be looking forward to these new rules that you're putting into place. I know there are a lot of people on Capitol Hill, men and women, that would like to see, uh, see that place operate a whole lot better than it has in the past. Thanks very much. Uh, thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.